The weeks and months have passed since the final checkered flag flew on the 2011 season, and now it's time to start a new season. The Lucas Oil Slick Miss 200 for the ARCA Racing Series about to get underway, kicking off the 60th anniversary season for the ARCA Racing Series. Let's get the engines fired right now. Race fans, welcome back your Grand Marshal, Roger Goyette, a buyer for national performance with those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. It's 2012, and everything starts from zero. Zero, a blank slate, a new beginning. New paint jobs. New fire suits. New attitudes. And most importantly, new points. Celebrating ARCA's 60th season in 2012 means a new chance to etch another name in Daytona history. The Lucas Oil Slick Miss 200 starts now. 1953, the sanctioning body started for the ARCA Racing Series, and now we're entering our 60th anniversary season. An overcast sky today at Daytona International Speedway, just 72 degrees. Pretty balmy weather here for the middle of February. Hello, everyone. Rick Allen, Phil Parsons with you once again as we're about to kick off a new season for the ARCA Racing Series. Now, Important because we're going over the 60th anniversary season for the ARCA Racing Series as well as the 49th Daytona start here. Then on top of that, we have 24 rookies that have never started an ARCA race here at Daytona in the field, as well as a man who's trying for his eighth win in Bobby Gerhardt, Phil. You know, over the years since 1964, hundreds of drivers have come here. Of the tens of thousands of drivers that drive race cars in this country and maybe even around the world, and they want to come to Daytona. And this is the place so many of those drivers have been able to make their start. I mean, people like my brother Benny Parsons, Kyle Petty won their first super speedway races right here. Benny went on to win the Daytona 500. Ryan Newman won the ARCA race here, won the Daytona 500. Kyle Busch, a lot of people have got their start, their super speedway start here. We've got 24 drivers, as you mentioned, that have never been here before, over half the field and you have one seven-time winner, Bobby Gerhardt, who actually sat on the pole, but his time was disallowed because of an engine leak, and he will start back from the 42nd spot, a spot he's not used to seeing, right. but we will see him make his way towards the front, though. And that will be one of the interesting points that we will follow this entire race as Bobby Gerhardt will make his way toward the front. Of course, this season kicks off the 60th anniversary for the ARCA Racing Series, but earlier this year, we lost the co-founder. The Automobile Racing Club of America is the body formed by John and Mildred Markham back in 1953. Mildred was 38 years old when the couple decided to put all their time and effort into providing a safe and fair environment in which aspiring racers could hone their talents. Mildred Markham passed away earlier this year after giving 60 years to this sport she loved. Mildred Markham, the matriarch of ARCA. Coverage of the ARCA Racing Series on Speed is brought to you by Lucas Oil Slick Mist, the fast and easy car care products. By Menard, save big money on all your home improvement needs. Qualifying held yesterday for the ARCA Racing Series season opener from here at Daytona International Speedway. And the car that won that Menards Pole Award presented by Ansel, Sean Carr. Of course, excuse me. He is winning his first series pole in the ARCA Racing Series and will lead the field to the green flag. And that's a pretty formidable job for a young man like Sean to win his first pole and then have to lead the field of 43 to the green flag here at Daytona. And we have an interesting lineup in the top 10. Four of the top 10 have never started an ARCA race here at Daytona. Yeah, a lot of inexperience up front here. You see Mikey Kyle 
right there starting back in row number five. He has some experience. Back in the field, Frank Kimmel, nine-time champion of this series. Start in row nine. Again, a new team there with Thor Sport Racing. See, Leilani Munter will start back in row number 13 alongside Terry Jones. Sloan Henderson, Melkaduna, the three ladies that will start this race. Brennan Poole, Pauli Naraka from the five-car Venturini Motorsports team. Now back there. Bobby, Bobby Gerhardt's going to start 42nd in the field. We have Ray Dunlap, Jim Trado, and... Jamie Howe covering all the stories from Pit Road. Let's start off with Ray. Well, thank you, Rick. So excited to get this 60th season of ARCA racing underway. And of course, Daytona is the biggest race of the year. How are you going to win this race today? Well, my prediction is you're going to have to do some two-car tandem drafting. We've seen it in NASCAR, and the folks in ARCA have told these drivers, do not push each other in the center of the corner. Now, what's going to happen in the last couple of laps, I don't know. My crystal ball says we're going to see a big pack for the early part of the race. And in those last two couple laps, two cars are going to hook up and they're going to shoot to the front. Jim Trado. And Ray, things got interesting yesterday in post qualifying. A couple of cars, several actually failed inspection. Bobby Gearhart won, but the teammates at Venturini Motorsports will have to go way to the back and start on provisional. That'd be the 25 of Brennan Poole. Right rear quarter too high. Left front balance too low, and his teammates, number 55 of Pauli Haraka. Those two teammates will start behind row 16. They're joined by that veteran, Bobby Garrett, in the back. Look for that trio to, tape, to team up and head to the front. Jamie? Thanks, Jim. Well, before Bobby Gerhardt can find his way back in contention for an eighth victory here at Daytona, he's first going to have to dance around 24 Daytona rookies. A couple to keep an eye on, Ryan Reed and Chris Windham, who will start second and fifth. Now, with so many rookies in the field, the question becomes, who do you trust to draft with when over half the field have never even done it? Choosing the right partner today could decide the race. Thanks, Jamie. We have 80 laps of racing. It's a 200-mile race. And in the driver's meeting that we attended earlier today, one of the biggest things was patience, respect. You can't go out at the beginning of this race and win it. You have to be there at the end. And they kept saying, have patience early on in this race and respect your competitors. You can lose it early in the race. You can't win it. 